I'm here with Dr. Romano to do absolute value inequality. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the Dat Destroyer book author. I'm here with Professor Blois today and we're going to do a wonderful question that I think you'll enjoy. This is going to be on absolute value inequalities and it'll be fast and furious. All right, Professor, fast take over. Fast and furious, here we go. Professor Blois here. Absolute value inequalities, you're bound to see these on the DAT. Let's start with a simple equation, an absolute value equation. The absolute value of W is 8. Well, the way to look at absolute value it is, is the distance from the origin. This, uh, the absolute value of R is saying the distance, that, the distance that W is from the origin is 8. Now, because it's absolute value, we're going to be looking at the positive side and the negative side. Okay, so there are two values that satisfy the equation. A distance of 8 from the origin, or 0. x equals 8. Uh, sorry, w equals 8. And w equals negative 8. Okay, fine. Now let's move into the realm of absolute value inequalities. The absolute value of x is less than 8. Well, what does this say? If we go back to our interpretation of absolute value as distance from 0, the distance from 0 is less than 8. Well, since it's absolute value, we're looking in both directions. We're looking at negative, from negative 8 to positive 8. If the distance is less than 8, that means we're looking at the range of numbers that's within that circle between negative 8 and positive 8, because that's where the distance is less than 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, all the way up to negative 8. What's the solution to this? Here is our uh, solution set. x is less than 8 and greater than negative 8. Any number within that circle, within that range, is going to satisfy the inequality. Okay, next inequality, the absolute value of y is greater than 8. So what does this mean? This means that the value of y is a distance that's greater than 8 from 0. All right, so what are we looking for? Are we looking for values within that circle from negative 8 to 8? No, we're looking for values that lie beyond 8 to the right and beyond 8 to the left. So our value for y, our solutions for y, are going to come in two parts. It's going to be y is less than negative 8 and y is greater than 8. It's a discontinuous interval. There's no way we can express the solution to this inequality as one continuous interval. It must be broken down into two intervals because it's, it's distance greater than in both the positive and the negative direction. Okay. Let's use the examples of these simpler problems to go to the kind of problems that would appear on the death, the more complicated type of problems. This problem says, well, the absolute value of 2s minus 5 is less than or equal to 7. Well, what does that mean? It says the distance of this expression from 0 is, equal, is less than or equal to 7. Okay, let's show a little diagram here. Here's my negative 7, here's my 0, here's my 7, and now the expression 2s minus 5, 2s minus 5, is going to fall within that range, in between the, ra the range of between negative 7 and positive 7. Okay, now all we have to do is solve for s, and we do that by the standard methods. Let's add 5 to all three sides of the inequality. Here we have a, an inequality with three sides instead of the usual 2 in an equation. So negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. And we have 2s, and 7 plus 5 is 12. We divide both sides, all three sides, by 2, and we get s is between negative 1 and 6. And there is our solution to this uh, inequality. All right, now let's go to the second equation, uh, where we have... The absolute value of m plus 8 is greater than 4. Okay, this is, uh, you know, maybe a little bit trickier than the ones that we've uh, already seen, but let's approach it the exact same way. The distance between m plus 8 and the origin is going to be greater than 4. Okay, so we look at uh, the two distances from 0 on the left and the right, 4 to the right, like negative 4 to the left, if, it's, if the distance is greater than 4, we're talking about greater than 4 or less than negative 4, and that's exactly the way I have to partition this uh, expression into two parts. m plus 8 is less than negative 4, and 
m plus 8 is greater than 4. All right, we break it up into two parts. Let's solve for m. Subtract 8 from both sides. m is less than negative 12. And subtract 8 from uh, both sides. m is greater than negative 4. And there is the expression for our solution, which can't be expressed in terms of one continuous interval. Once again, because it's greater than, has to be two discontinuous intervals to get our solution. Okay, guys, I hope everybody followed that. That's a sure bet question you're going to see on the DAT exam. Um, we have plenty of these type of questions in the Math Destroyer book. All right, I'll see you in study book. If you want to hit a question to Professor Blois, hit us up on Facebook and the study group and we'll answer it. All right, guys, good luck. See you later. Bye-bye.